everybody, welcome back to Sacred Body Studio. My name is Fadi. So we're gonna keep going our 20 days yoga. So we're gonna start. This is our seventh day. Well done. We're gonna start today on the floor. So lie down on your back. Remember to keep your deep, long breath all the time. Inhale deep and exhale through your nose. Again, you can be aware how you feel today. And you just try to concentrate, give us a few minutes to ourselves to stretch our body, to release tension, to strength as well our muscles. And the most important, the mobility. So let's just start here. Lift your right foot off the ground, and then the left one. Bring your hands under the knees. We just rest here for four breaths. Relax your shoulders and we relax our chest. We hold for four. Activate your tummy by pulling your legs. Let's go for three. Two, relax your face. And just one more. Now release your arms onto the ground, keep your knees together, squeeze the inner thigh. We make a circle around with your knees just to release your lower back. Let's go five, four, three, two, and one. We change the direction. We just go five, four, three, two, and one. Back to center, feet onto the ground. Take your yoga block if you have it. If you don't have it, it's okay. Just maintain the same width, hips, knees, and feet. And we're just gonna go with the shoulder bridge. So arms beside your body, inhale. Push your feet against the ground, exhale. Lift your pelvis and your spine all the way up. Extend your thighs. Inhale at the top. And exhale, release it slowly down your spine, vertebrae by vertebrae. And when the hips reach the ground, back to neutral. And let's go again. Inhale. And exhale, come up all the way. Inhale. And exhale, release. And again. Inhale. Exhale, come up. Inhale, exhale, release. Let's go for the two. Inhale, exhale, come up. Inhale, and exhale, release. Now keep your hips on the ground. Take off your block if you have it. We're going to bring the right leg up, hands under the thigh, make a circle around with your foot. We just go five, four, three, two, one. Change the direction. Five, four, three, two, one. Now flex some point. Five, four, three, two, one. Keep your leg straight as much as you can. Hands on your hips and we're going to go inhale, leg go down. Exhale, flex your foot, leg come up. Let's go for nine. Inhale, and exhale. Let's go eight, and exhale. Try when you are going down to don't touch the ground. Okay, let's go for seven. Down, six, down, five. Down, four, down, three, down, two, down, and just one more. And down. Bend your leg, hands under the right knee, slide the left foot on the ground, straight the left leg, and flex your left foot. You can flex the right one as well if you want. 
We just hold it here for four breaths. Inhale. Relax your shoulders. Let's go for three. Exhale. Let's go two. Exhale. And just one more. And exhale. Bend your left leg. And the same leg, the right ankle, rest into your left thigh. Gently release the foot and we pull the legs towards to us, holding your thighs. And we just hold here for four breaths without pulling hard, without pain. Let's go for three more breaths. Inhale, you can flex your right foot. And exhale. Let's go for the two, inhale, and exhale. Just one more, inhale, and exhale. Release your foot on the ground, and the other one. If you feel your feet very tense and tight, like uh, for me sometimes it happens. So what I do is just constantly flex and point your feet, okay, that will help you. Let's go other leg, catch at the back of the left leg, circle around with your foot, let's go five, four, three, two, and one. Change the direction, five, four, three, two, one. Now flex and point, five, four, three, two, and one. Now keep your leg straight as much as you can, hands on the ground. Inhale, leg go down, toes pointing away, a few inches off the ground. Flex your foot, bring it back again, 90 degrees, as far as you can go. Let's go for nine, down, and up. Eight, and up. Seven, up. Six, up, five, up, four, up, three, up, two, up, and just one more. Bend your left leg, hands under the left knee, extend your right leg, we hold here for four breaths. Inhale, and exhale. Let's go for three, and exhale. Two, and just one more. We bend the leg, hands onto the ground and we're just gonna push the hands down pull the legs in and we just lift tiny our hips off the ground just to really feel the strain in your tummy and the control of pulling the legs in to lift your hips doesn't have to be too much lift just to build it up build on just to build up strength <laughs> ready let's go for ten down nine down eight down, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and the last one. Now bring your feet onto the ground. Take your block if you have it. If not, we just go straight onto the shoulder bridge. Bring your arms under your back, interlace your finger, let the hands rest on the side of the little finger and press your arms against the ground as far as you can go. Keep your arms straight. We hold here for four breaths. Inhale deep and exhale. Let's go for three. Exhale. Two. And just one more. We release your arms, release your spine. Take off your block, lift your feet off the ground, head off the ground, and we're rocking back and forward, coming to the sitting pose. Swing the legs to the side, 
common to all fours. Let's take our cat and cat just four times just to release our spine. So we just go inhale, cat, curving your spine, exhale, arching your back. And let's go for three. Inhale and exhale. And two. Exhale. And just one more. Exhale. Back in the neutral, sitting back, child pose. We hold here for four breaths. Inhale deep. And exhale. Let's go for three. Two. And we raise our torso onto all four. So today we're going to do a little bit of strength for our arms. So we're going to curl the toes under. Remember this downward dog? Yeah, we got this one. We're going to take here a deep breath. We can bend the knees to extend more our back. It doesn't matter if our gear heels are high. We push our tailbone upwards. That's important. Take a deep breath, everybody. Inhale. And exhale. Now we walk with our hands us to your feet and bring your heels down here we might have the feet a little bit wider which is bringing the same weight of your hips inhale and exhale we roll up as good arms come up if it's possible palms together and we just arch our back as far as we can go without forcing back to center drop your arms Spine roll, and here we're gonna walk with our hands without letting the weight on our hands keep your tummy in. We come back again onto all fours. Mm -hmm. Yep, and from all fours, we're just gonna move our shoulders forward, bend the elbows, a tiny push up. Okay, and let's go again. Downward dog, if the heels are on the ground, it's okay. Bend your knees to walk with your hands, toes to your feet. Bring your chest close to your thighs. Take a breath here. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Roll up. Palms together all the way up. Arching your back. Back to center. Forward bend or spine roll. Walk with your hands, take time in this part, okay? Don't rush. Bring your knees on the floor slowly, shoulders forward, elbows in, and bend to tiny push up and downward dog. Take a deep breath here, inhale and exhale. Now walk with your hands backwards, bring your heels onto the ground. Bend your knees to allow the tummy to touch your thighs. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Roll up. Ah, oh, it's good. It feels nice in your spine. Palms together if it's possible. If not, just keep your arms on the same width of your shoulders. Lift them up, arching your back. Come back again, drop your hands, spine roll, bend your knees, walk forward. Try to really walk, but without letting the weight collapse on your wrist by engaging your tummy. Knee on the ground, shoulders forward, elbows bent tiny, and kind of push ups. Back again, downward dog, take a deep breath, inhale, exhale. Walk with your hands, toes to your feet, bend your knees, forward bend, inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale, roll up, and palms together, again we go, arching our back, and the last one everybody, well done, all the way down, let the head drop, Walk with your hands forward, 
Don't forget to keep your deep and long breath. Shoulders forward, elbows bent as long as you can go without forcing. Downward dog. Take a deep breath. Inhale and exhale. Walk with your hands towards to your feet. So keep your tummy in and push your bum backwards to maintain the weight backwards. So you don't let all the job into the arms or the hands. You really use your tummy and your legs. Inhale and exhale. We hold here. Inhale and exhale. Roll up. This is the last one. Palms together. Arch in your back. I'm back again. Well done. We just got all the way down onto the floor. Nice, everybody. Bring your knees onto the ground. Remember the last, the yeah, last time, <laughs> yesterday, or oh, the video before that we do the stretch against the wall. We're gonna repeat it again. Okay. So bring your mat against the wall. Remember to lie down. On the mat until we just set ourselves we're gonna bring our bum close to the wall uh, lie down just parallel to your mat keep your bum close to the wall and then we just roll on the back mm -hmm. make sure that your head is really really comfy there is no force in here your neck you have a kind of uncomfortable position on your head better to take off like a ponytails and everything in your head Good, everybody. Bend your legs, push the wall with your feet, lift the pelvis. If you need to catch your hips, it's okay. If you need to push a little bit more of the feet, it's fine. Push your feet against the wall. We hold here for four, three, two, and just one more. Slowly release down. This time we keep the legs straight. Flex your feet. Bring your arms backwards. We hold here for four, three, two. Really relax with your exhalation. Completely give up. Inhale and exhale. Release your arms beside your body, everybody. Bend your legs one more time. Push the wall, come up. Again, if you feel more comfortable, keep your hands on your hips. We hold for four. And exhale. Let's go for three. Two. Just one more. And gently release down. That's good. Extend with your legs. Flex your feet. Arms go backwards. We hold for four. And push your heels upwards to really stretch your legs. Let's go for three. Two. And just one more. And we just release. Bend your legs. Okay, feet together. Open your legs to the butterfly. Just gently here. Keep your hands on your thighs. You can bring your heels lower if you feel more comfortable. And we just hold here for four. Always observe your body. When we are holding the pose, observe your body, observe your muscles, your bones. Let's go for two. And just one more. Bring your knees together, straight the left leg on the wall, and bring your right ankle at the top of the left thigh. Now bend the left leg as far as you can come, as far as it's not pushing your, your hips backwards, you know, as much as you can just feel the stretch in your thigh, flex the foot just to create certain tension of the leg 
pushing towards to us and we just hold it here for four you can go lower with your foot it's okay but keep the hips on the ground let's go three two and just one more straight the left leg release the right leg so straight the right leg on the wall and the left ankle just rest onto your right thigh we bend the right leg as far as we can go without lifting the lower back you can flex your foot here to help it to push closer the legs and we just hold here for four three two and just one more and release well done straight the legs and we're gonna repeat the twist everybody so remember bend your legs open your arms beside your shoulders palms facing down walk with your feet towards to the right side let the right leg completely arrive on the ground and don't worry the left don't go too low as far as it can go maintaining both shoulder blades on the ground move your face opposite direction of your legs and we just hold it here for four inhale and exhale three and exhale Two and exhale, and just one more and exhale. Walk with your feet to the other side. Let the left leg completely arrive on the ground. Don't worry, the right one is super far away, it doesn't matter. And if it's come closer, it's okay, but just maintain both shoulder blades on the ground. And we move the face opposite direction of the legs. We hold for four. Three. Two. And just one more. Back to center. And this time we roll completely towards to the right to come up. And let's back to child pose just to finish our class. And we hold it here for four. For three. Two and just one more. And raise your torso. Well, roll your shoulders backwards, everybody. Nice. How you feel? Good? <laughs> Let me know. So let's just do the last three breaths just to finish with a strong energy. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, arms down. This time, exhale through your mouth. Inhale. Exhale. Just one more. Exhale. Hands back. Pray position. Drop the head towards to the right side to release your neck. Take a deep breath. And exhale. Back to center. Other side. Take a deep breath. Inhale. Back to center. Namaste. Thank you for joining us. We see you tomorrow. And you can always follow us in Instagram as a Sacred Body Studio. See you soon.